Hi, and welcome back to Kay Dreyer. Today I have a recipe for you, a little DIY. This is my famous um, face balm. Little backstory on it, I used to make products and sell them and this was one of the most popular ones, the face balm. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make it. So what you will need, um, a pot with a couple inches of water, um, some glass jars, I just use these little mason jars. You will need coconut oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, shea butter, and then next step, of course, we'll need some essential oils. So these are Young Living Essential Oils. I only use theirs because they are the best quality you can buy. They are seed to seal. They own their own farms. They are not just a rebottling company. That's really important to me. They are beyond organic. The best bang for your buck. So what oils will we be using? We need Joy. And then we will use some tamanu oil. This is not an essential oil, but we'll be using that. We need frankincense, amazing for your skin. And then some purification. This helps keep my skin clear. So we'll be using those ones. And now for the recipe. First thing, we'll put the stove on. What a medium heater, so. Um, it has about two or so inches of water, enough that it covers about half your jar. We'll be doing a kind of a double boiler. I make it directly in the jar because it's less mess, you don't get beeswax everywhere, and you don't waste any ingredients. Um, so I will be putting the beeswax in first because it takes the longest to melt. So I'll be using about a tablespoon and a half. So these are um, organic beeswax, they're just little pellets, easier than the big block. I have a block in here too. But then you have to shave it and it takes forever. So we'll let those melt. Okay, so you can see that beeswax is melted. So I have added two tablespoons of the cocoa butter now. I will let that melt. So now I'm going to add my shea butter, about two tablespoons. I have one in there already. And those little bubbles, it's just boiling, so I've just turned it down a little bit. And I just use my mixing spoon to stir it. I am using stainless steel um, versus like plastic. Next up is coconut oil. This is just from Trader Joe's. You can get it wherever you want. So basically I now fill the container till it's about three quarters um, full, maybe five sixths. And that's a couple tablespoons. Don't worry, my hands are clean. And obviously coconut oil is kind of the main base. Um, I love it for my skin. And it smells lovely. I should have done this before. Measured it out. And coconut oil melts super quick. So you can see how full it is there. As you can see, it's really well melted now. Um, I let it cool for like a minute or two um, before I put my oils in. So I'm putting some tamanu oil in. Just a couple drops. This is great for moisturizing your skin. Um, and yes, it is green. This is great for scars, um, for acne. Adds a lot of moisture. That's tamanu oil. A little stir. Next, we've got joy tons of amazing floral oils. We will be putting 10 drops of that in. Okay, oops, that was 11. Oh well. Purification, great for keeping your skin clear, smells lovely, great for your skin. We will be putting 10 drops as well. Okay, and for the big guns, frankincense. Do yourself a favor, Google benefits of frankincense essential oil. We will be putting 15 drops of frankincense in here. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, give it a little mix. 
that's it. So I will let it cool. Um, you can do it at room temperature or in the fridge. I find if you do it at room temperature, it um, takes maybe half an hour or so, depending on how warm your environment is. And then I'll pop a lid on um, and then just take a bit for my face or whatever part of my body needs a little extra love. So this is our DIY face balm. If you make it, for, be sure to tag me. I'd love to see it. Um, look out for a blog post that has the full ingredient list um, and benefits for each ingredient. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.